So I'm meeting Bradford in Nashville for some amp reveal with Rev. I'm heading there now. Bradford, I'm coming, man! I am on my way! He's at the airport. I don't... I have no idea if he's there or what already, but... I'm on my way, Bradford! I'm on my way. Are you Nick? No. Okay. Man. Can I be, can I sit up front with you? Is that weird? Uh -huh. No. Can we, you want some of my beard oil? Yeah. Welcome to my crib. Well, let's check out the view. We just got into a room. Let's You're not gonna believe this view. You, you won't. It's pretty solid. Nah. What? Not bad. Dog waste. You see that organic spillage stain down the side of the wall? Adding that rustic appeal, that patina, if you will. <laughs> All right, we're here. Novo Guitars is right there. I'm particularly excited about that, yes. However, this is a Rev D40 reveal announcement. Is there another word? Uh, unveiling? Unveiling. Maybe? It's uh, it's a release party. Release party, that's what I was there thinking. There you go. It's the Rev D40 release party. Uh, it's kind of like uh, just making bigger the D25, which was the D20 made bigger into a combo amp. All that kind of thing. So we're real excited. As you've probably seen in the last, you know, several months or so, we've become good friends with Rev and they're great dudes and they invited us out to this. So we're here and there's hot chicken and we're in Nashville, so I'm pretty stoked. So, tally ho, tally ho, tally ho. Tally four? We're gonna play with guitars. A couple guitars here at Novo, huh? Yeah, a couple guitars at yeah. Novo. That's what's up. Killer guitar players like John, Super and Tyler. Yeah, man. A whole bunch right. of other guys like Robert Baker and other people are Can gonna be here. Great, wait, yeah. you're excited. Get, this is and the face. If you've been to a Morgan Wallen show, <laughs> this is the face. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Thank you, Stu. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, man. I'm, I'm thinking that's aged pedal and blue. I think that's a G, Cirrus J. Yeah. So it's got the mastery trim, jazz master trim. So it's a semi hollow with P90. Oh, it's good. You like it? Are you sure? That'd be the one, I think. I want some humbuckers though, but that's still. I wouldn't say no one. He's just checking this stuff out, I think. So with the amp itself, um, it's like, you know, the D20 kind of? Yeah. It's basically the clean channel is like a higher wattage version of that. Um, there's like the separate boost and right switch. And then uh, channel two is more of like a broken up clean thing all the way to kind of like a hot rod marshal, depending on what you want it to do. And the boost and right switch also work on that channel. Yeah. Uh, the verb is assignable per channel. And then on the board here, um, I don't know how much you know about the pedals, but the tilt is Sean's pedal. Yes, I thought the tilt. The tilt is awesome. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, these pedals are the individual channels on our generator amp, like the generator okay, yeah. 120. relatively small shop, but you can see here. Uh, this is kind of our rough mill area, so we bring in all our lumber in here. This is where we do, it's kind of a mess right now because we just took delivery of this brand new Haas VF4. Raw lumber, neck, neck blanks, things like that, and we process it all here. So we've got all of our woodworking equipment, getting it prepped to go on the CNC, and then it uh, eventually will be ready to go on the CNC and we cut out the bodies in the necks. Nam, already putting together Nam guitars, I guess that makes sense. Yep, yep. All the boys next on here. Yeah, we use pretty yeah. much all 
uh, tempered pine body. Uh huh. Uh, tempered maple nest. I wonder how much it costs to get this on your guitar. And then we do a guitar. few models, like our, our semi hollow. Well, I want that. The mirror. That's nice. Huh? We do this and it's a little <laughs> custom, dash, right? Uh, because this top is so thin. Like you want that on your guitar, Steve? Yeah. You don't want to eat yeah. on your guitar? Yes. yes. Yeah. Dual is a back <laughs> scratcher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Official I mean, Novo licensed back scratcher. Yeah. You know, but that's. Look at that. Uh, it's nice, nice, nice. I mean, he said it's very uh, then, uh, far yeah. from being done. Yeah. Still, that's beautiful. Be oh, wow, though. Frets are installed. Inlays are actually installed before that. And then it goes back on the plec to have the frets level. Um, so it's kind of two processes on the plec, so we'll be able to kind of cut that machine time in half, hopefully. Sometimes, you know, guitars get to the, to the end and they were plec'd at one point, but, you know, in that time, you know, some, some adjustments need to be made and they go gaps and all that. And then once that's done, oh, wow! So this oh, is the actual wow. spray booth here. So we're oh, I love that smell. Pulling air from the from the roof. Everything we do is prep and clean up, and then like ten percent actually spraying. Get them shined up to a mirror finish and get them ready to go. And then the neck and the body will will flow together next door. This is where they use the uh, the most advanced tools that we have in the shop. Very, very high tech stuff they got going on here. <laughs> Various rocks. Uh, I think we've got a, uh, a railroad oh, spike over here. Thing. You know, this kind of stuff. <laughs> and what the, the best part, to, yeah, honestly, razor blades, rocks. The best part is that they, uh, everybody kind of has their favorite rocks. Like Dennis has his rocks. He doesn't want people to mess with them, leave them in my office, you know. <laughs> Zane here's got his favorite rocks. Anthony's got now. his, yeah. Neck and the body together, they wire the electronics, they Gold do all the setups, you know, all That's of that. It's all of hardware. So yeah, they're they're taking it from from just parts and turn it into something you know, special. Hey, so we're here with Travis. Travis is the general manager of Novo. They make some really cool guitars. I would I would say that it's probably one of like my favorite and most unique shape that I think is out there today. They the way they build things, the appointments remind you of other guitars. Like I'm looking at one here, like it looks like an Esquire. Mm. But like it's really cool. So Travis, we we're we we're seeing the shop and all saw some cool stuff. What I mean, I have my thoughts, but I'd like to know like what you think on like like the the, the quintessential like you know what our market does the worship leaders or worship players. What do you think they would probably gravitate towards most or resonate with most? Totally, yeah. Um, I've I've actually had done my share of playing at churches in the past. Yeah, uh, sure. Not not doing that anymore or currently, but um, so I kind of feel like I I know what those folks are looking for. Yeah. Um, so I would say probably either our Saris J or our Miris J. Yeah. Um, the Mirus J is basically the the semi hollow version yeah. of, oh, yeah. um, that's, of the Cirrus J. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. So. so I think you know the P90s mm -hmm. coupled with the Mastery trim. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the 25 and a half inch scale length. Yeah. You know, maple neck, rosewood board, it's an offset kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you know, I think um, what seems like a lot of the guys in the worship community gravitate towards is kind of like the the deluxe version of that. So I've yeah. seen a lot of guys do like. You know, pearl blocks uh, on the yeah. on the fingerboard inlays. Maybe a maybe a, a figured maple neck. Yeah. You know, make it a little nice. Yeah, maybe a, maybe yeah. a sparkle finish. You oh, know, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's kind of right in the right in the ballpark. Thing. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Well, lots of cool stuff. You're going to see some stuff if you haven't already throughout this video. But anyways, check out Novo. Thanks, Travis. Yeah, no problem. Glad to be here. Derek, what, what's your official title the company? Uh, uh, this is the worst title ever because uh, when we did our like articles of incorporation, I thought it would be good to designate it. So I'm technically the vice president of sales and marketing, which I should have just been the VP. <laughs> uh, but I am one of the owners at Rev. Okay. And uh, I'm not our designer. Okay. I'm the guy who hopefully gets amps into the hands of people in front of people that uh, are actually going to use them. If you haven't seen the video on the channel, we did a video talking about D20, the D25. They have two notes, captor technology in them. You can use it as an amp or you can do a line out with the two notes technology. Super, super cool. Um, you know we're all about IRs and you know 
um, digital modeling. Yeah. So, but they, you guys have a new amp. Yes. And it's like it's like um, a growth yeah. from the D20, D25. So, so what I would kind of say this is is it's kind of like it's what would have been the father of the D20. It's a two-channel amp. You got clean on one channel. It's 40 watts, 6L6 power section, 12AX7 preamp section. Second channel is your gain channel. It's going to be like kind of low to mid gain. It's not really going to be really high gain. I mean, you can get it into like Marshall kind of territory if you really if you really crank it and hit the boost. But the voicing of the clean channel on this is what we designed the D20 off of. When we originally designed the Dynamis, the second channel had a really modern high gain voice or like gain voice. And when Sean Tubbs started working with us, he was like, man, whenever we decide to do a Mark III version of this, we gotta change that drive channel. It's gotta be, you know, kind of more, to use all the horrible buzzwords you don't wanna hear, like sparkly, more vintage inspired, it has a lot of bloom and a lot of sag, and I don't know what other terrible buzzwords <laughs> I should use about it, but, but it is true, like the things that, you know, that we love about vintage amps like that, that was the things that Sean really wanted to make sure happen. So this is the first amp where Sean and Dan, our designer and our president, worked hand in hand over a span of like a year and a half to revoice, to really, fit like more than Nashville market, which really the Nashville market is essentially the house of worship market, right? It's very clean, very open, sparkly, cleans. And then for Speaking drives, language. yeah, for drives, stuff that again, horrible buzzwords, I'm sorry, but it's what we all use. But like the, the big one is bloom, right? Like things where when you hit a note that it just, and it just blooms underneath you, right? and that dynamic that goes with that. And the Dynamis Mark II didn't do that because it was more like the generator and it was you know, more high gain. So okay. that's what this does. And then of course all the two notes, torpedo embedded tech. Oh, that is stuff. beautiful, vertical, yes. slanted cab. Yes. This Which, thing is very attractive. 100% Sean Tubbs idea. It sounds stellar. Thank you. It sounds great. Yeah. Love it. I have zero to do with that. So um, good job, Sean and Dan and Sam and Manny and everybody else at Rev that actually built some. Look, I'm going to turn this amp on and the cab lights up. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, the worship guys are about I mean, aesthetics. It's kind of annoying, but it's true. Yeah. So buy lots. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. Party's done. Party's over. Party! I love Novo amps and Rev guitars. <laughs> All right, back in our room. Nick and I are very tired. We've been staying here for a while. Uh, lots of guitar playing. Not as bad as Nam. Nam can be a lot. This was real nice. It was real intimate. Got to check out some cool guitars, some cool amps. Hope to have more from both of those companies. But really cool to be in the room. You probably didn't see this, but there was like some cool YouTubers, Brett Papa was in there. I'm forgetting a lot of their full names. Corey Cagliano, RJ Ronquilio was in there. Guthrie Trapp was there. Sean Tubbs was there. Noah Henson was there. Tyler Tomlinson. There's a handful of other names. Not to be name dropping, just like Nick and I were like, this is incredible. This is insane. Um, but my legs really hurt. Uh, so we hope to have more of the amps and the guitars soon, but thanks for coming along, having fun with us. That's really all we wanted to do. Vlogs are just fun to do. So, uh, we'll see you soon. Nick, say bye. Bye. Here. <laughs>